So this is the second year of the Hooligan. This is the regular Stealthcraft Hooligan. We are at 100 trips in the Hooligan. That is on rivers, creeks, lakes, ponds, mostly rivers. Um, this thing is my favorite thing to be on the water now. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some of my, uh, some of the things that I do on here. Um, and I know for you guys that own hooligans, maybe some of these mods might help you. They might not help you, but let's start off with like the most important mods that we have. That right there. That's where all my success comes from. Good luck, bananas. As you guys know, bananas are super good luck on boats. So you gotta hit it up with some cool decals. Um, personally, I love that one right there. Some of these. Gotta believe in that tiger, right? Believe in that tiger musky. So the thing about rafts is that there's not a whole lot of room. Um, and so what you're gonna see is that most of my gear is actually on the outside or underneath the seats for everybody in the raft. The angler in front right here has this entire area all to them and the angler in the back has this space and that space. This actually gets pushed up to right about there. So a lot of room right there. What I like to do is I like to strap things to the outside um, and I'm gonna show you guys where and what I do. First off, right here, I always wear a life jacket, but these are two throwable PFDs. These are legal life jackets, so you need, I dropped you, so you need two life jackets uh, in the boat that is for each of the anglers plus your own life jacket. So that suffices to, you know, be law abiding. Um, I always keep my pump with me. The pump I attach to the bottom of the back frame. <sighs> So on the top, this and this, it straps down really nicely, the, the pump does there, and um, it's always out of the way, but you always have it in case you need it, which sometimes you do. Back here, I have some more awesome decals, but this right here is a Plano Plano gear storage. I think it's like a mid-sized. I don't know exactly the name of it. I'll probably link it in the video, but this thing is awesome. You can get into it during the day without taking it off. So right here, the guy in the back can just lift up. And this is where I keep the coolers. I keep extra gear in here. I have all my survival stuff. I actually I even keep a saw in case I run into anything on the river that I need to cut through. Um, so this is basically where I throw most of my junk that I might need but probably won't need generally during the day. So right there, if I'm going through rapids, I usually will add a secondary strap right here that attaches down. But if I'm not going through rapids, then I just leave it with this one and this one. We got the 25 pound anchor right here. Uh, this does not get in the way of the anchor. This right here, is something I added. This is a wheelchair foam topper. And the reason I have it there is that I like to take out my rods and I'll show you about this. So I like to take my rods out. All right, so I got my rod right here. When I'm in the day and I'm fishing, I like to actually leave the rods right here on top so that they go off the back. 
I have this back here so that somebody puts a hand or a foot, they're not gonna break these rod tips. And I realized that I could put them in here, but the problem with that is that if I put this in there, this big musky rod is now gonna take up the room of my first angler, and I wanna leave this person up here without you know, any, anything to impede them. As the rower, I don't care if I have stuff all over the place, so this is fine right back here to this this cushion. And I usually, usually if I'm, uh, you know, if I have two clients in the boat, I have five rods. Um, usually they each have their own rod in their hand, and then I have three rods right here. Boom, 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 all the way out the back. Um, usually it works great. Now, other things that I've added to the boat that are really important, this right here. Without this, this oar slides. And there's nothing worse than when you're on the river and you have fish in the background and you have rocks and your oar falls down into the water. That's a great way to either break a rod, tip a raft or something. You have to have a oar capture of some kind. The only problem is for fly fishermen, sometimes that causes a problem. On the other side, you're going to note that I got this custom stealth craft, this custom um, rod carrying setup, and that's what holds the rod on that side. So going back over to the other side, I know I'm kind of going all over the place here. Um, I have another one of these hooks right here. And I actually use this to hook up my external uh, bilge system. Uh, this is connected with a zip tie right here, so it can't go anywhere. It holds right here. That's really important. And I also, you're gonna note that I also have a paddle on the outside. This paddle right here actually gets shoved in under the strap, goes all the way back, it's right here. And you might say, why do you have a paddle? Um, well, I don't need it today because I'm actually on a lake, but I brought it here for de demonstrative purposes. When you're in rapids, I like having my client in the front grab that canoe paddle because they can help row, or paddle that is, they can help push off rocks. And in the case that I was to break an oar, um, you know, sometimes we're going in through fairly gnarly rapids and I want to have a backup system. So this paddle right here works really well. And then since it's outside the raft, it is not causing any problems. It's never in the way. Now, other mods that I added, we got a VitaVoo. This right here is a VitaVoo um, seat back, I think it's called. I have it strapped right here. It did come with some um, sticky material here, some adhesive, but the problem is the hot weather kind of melted that adhesive, so I added a strap. I keep right here a couple of things. I got some nippers. I got some hook file sharpener. I have more nippers that I have on magnetic things right here. And so if we open this up, this right here is perfect for flies. So, you know, you can keep your flies, let them dry. Um, and I keep this on literally year round. Um, so it's really, really functional. So uh, another thing that I added here to the raft, I think this is pretty uh, essential, is this and that. <coughs> These are Mountain Smith dry kicks. So they are waterproof and they are awesome bags to hold all sorts of things that you need on the river, on the lake. Um, I keep line, I keep uh, pliers, I keep hook, uh, hook snippers, everything. So we're gonna look in here. As you can see, I got fly leader, I got this, I got a lighter in there. I don't smoke, but that's right there for, you know, if I need to melt something, I got all my line. So right here, 
And then I'll show you guys what I have on the other side as well. I got nip -X, I got pliers, I got jaw spreaders, I got a musky handling glove. So in years past, uh, I put all of my gear right here next to me. Um, but the problem was, is that it could it was free flowing, it could fall off, it could get in the way, it could fall down into the raft. Now I have all of my gear kind of on the outside here in these packages. And so everything that I need is right there in hand's reach. I don't have to go digging for things. It is where I need it. Um, I do have two bins. I got bin one and bin two. Uh, usually I keep tackle and camera gear in there and also clients that want to bring stuff, I throw it in those bins. Uh, I can get those bins out pretty quickly, um, but I can't do it quick enough if I have a fish on. And so that's why I leave these right here for those kind of gear that I need right away. I need jaw spreaders. I need hook uh, snips for musky fishing. So those things are essential. You gotta have them close. Um, but everything else is in those bins out of the way. You're gonna note that I roll with two nets here. I got my stowaway, this is for musky. And I got this one right here. This is a huge net, but I actually use this for smallmouth. So it might look kind of cramped, but the truth is this is not cramped at all. I row in here eight to 10 hours and I don't even think about this stuff being next to me. Um, it doesn't bother me at all. I mean, I'm not a huge guy. I'm about 5'9", so about average size, and I am not at all cramped in here, even with two nets. And the reason I fish with two nets is because when I'm fishing for smallmouth, inadvertently, I'm also gonna hook into a big muskie, and I don't want to hurt that fish with a small net. Um, so this is pretty much my setup here. I also do have a trolling motor that sometimes rarely I'll use. And I actually have that right here. When I use that motor, I actually leave the battery for it right down here. And so I attach the motor Actually, I leave this in the truck because I don't want that. I attach the motor here. I run the cables underneath. And then right here, I have that battery. Um, but the truth is, I like rowing. I like kind of that manpower aspect. And so I don't use that uh, trolling motor very often, except for a few situations. Um, I hope you guys... Uh, Hope you guys learned something. I mean, I love this little raft. I'm gonna do some more. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more, talk about some of the adventures out on the water when we get fishing. But uh, I kinda wanna just give you guys a run through right here. It is so very cool.